Hello my fashion lovers, I'm back with a new fashion video. In today's video, let's read the looks at Sharon Oja's grand wedding that I held yesterday. Before we proceed, as usual, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumb up, and also turn your notifications on to get notified whenever I drop related content. And be sure to check my page for more celebrities and fashion content. So we're going to read the celebrity guest in attendance on a scale of 0 to 10. The dress code for the event was black tie, which simply means come classy and formal. Majority of them clearly understood their assignment and a couple of them came looking Tacky. Let's dive into their looks and see the best and worst dressed. Starting off strong, first we have fashion influencer Nelly Affe. She arrived in this bridal dress by a brand called Magnetic Elegance. It's a white mermaid silk dress, embellished with rose illusions and glittering net fabric. It's a long sleeve pleated off shoulder dress that accentuates her curves. It's also a floor length dress with little trim. For accessories, she went for a pair of dainty diamond earrings, alongside a diamond neck piece and emerald ring. And for glam, she went for subtle makeup and the center part slick back hair with beautiful French tip acrylic nails and also styled the look with this beautiful rhinestone mini bag. I love the entire look. It's very bridal and beautiful. My only issue would have to be the fact that she's wearing white to someone else's wedding. I wish she had gone for soft pink or some other color that would suit the look. Wearing white to someone else's wedding seems like you're trying to compete with the bride. Regardless, it's a beautiful dress and reflects the dress code and I would rate this a solid 9. Next we have famous Nigerian actress Omo Omi Dada. <laughs> It's a custom dress by Nigerian designer, Somo by Somo. It's a spectacular Victorian corset floor length dress made of this beautiful see-through lace fabric and carefully draped and tailored to create this gorgeous number. And she styled the dress with this statement making silver clutch alongside a dainty pair of earrings, a diamond necklace and a couple of bracelets as well as this giant ring. And for glam, she went for quite neutral makeup and the side part short curly hair. I love the simplicity of the feet. It's so classy and goes well with the dress code. I honestly can't fault this look. I feel it's perfect and suits her so well. I love the look and I'd rate this a solid 9 as well. Next we have cool Nigerian actress Inedi Malkoji. <laughs> She was on bridesmaid duty and had on this beautiful high sleeve dress by Tularo. It's an off-shoulder corset dress made of luxurious silk fabric in this stunning orange shade that suits her complexion so well. She styled the look with a multicolored pair of earrings alongside beautiful rhinestone spiral heels. It's a very classy and timeless look and a classic for bridesmaids. And for a glam, she went for a subtle makeup alongside a sleek center part half ponytail. She looks really simple and elegant. The structure and details on the dress are so perfect and I'll rate this a solid Next, we have called Nigerian actor Daniel Etim F. Young. <laughs> I believe it's a custom suit by DJ and Colum. The blazer is made of this bright green pattern fabric, while the lapel, inner shirt and pants are made of plain fabrics. For accessories, he has only a little bow tie that matches the blazer, alongside patterns leather shoes and dark shades. It's a very simple, basic and quite boring look. I wish they had gone for a more vibrant color to spice the look. It's a well tailored and clean look, but it's not an exciting one and the men are known for setting the standard low and serving basic looks when it comes to fashion and this is no exception. It's a good look regardless and I'll read this a 7. Next we have famous host Tommy K. <laughs> She arrived in this custom look by Anne Cranberry. It's a structured off shoulder dress made of black silk and sequin fabrics alongside shiny silver details. It's a straight long dress and for accessories she went for a beautiful pair of diamond earrings alongside an eye grabbing neck piece, a silver wristwatch, diamond bracelet and a wedding ring. And for a glam she went for bold makeup and a sea cut low ponytail. I love this look. It's a very classy and exciting look and suits the dress code. I feel majority of the guests were keeping it simple but she managed to serve a little bit of extravaganza which Nigerian weddings are known for and at the same time stuck to the theme and I would rate this a solid 10. Next we have famous Nigerian content creator J on Air. <laughs> He arrived in a suit by Isaac John. It's a blue suit with fitted pants and white shirt underneath. And he styled the look with a blue satin tie, a pair of black patterns leather shoes, black leather wristwatch, a couple of gold rings, a gold bangle and a pair of dainty earrings. It's a simple and clean look. I love the color. He kept simple with the accessorizing and I'd rate this a 7.5. Next we have famous Nigerian actress Efe Irele. <laughs> She arrived in this simple net dress with tiny transparent straps. It's a neutral tone floor length dress that sits perfectly on her. And for accessories, she went for a simple pair of earrings with a matching neck piece and bangles. Not to waste our time and bore you with the details, it's a very simple and underwhelming look. It doesn't reflect the dress code so well and I'd rate this a 5. Next we have our bestie and famous actor, Timini Egbusin. <laughs> 
So he has on a shiny suit by T.I. Nathan. It's a shiny blazer adorned with a simple brooch. Alongside plain fitted pants and a white shirt underneath. And for accessories, he went for reflective sunglasses, a pair of earrings and a simple bow tie. It's a very cool look which doesn't come as a surprise to me barely disappoints. Although I feel there's something off with the structure. The blazer looks a little bit undersized and I'm not very much a fan of the fabric contrast. It's a cool look regardless and they clearly put in effort. I would rate this a solid 8. Next we have world breaking chef Yuda Basi. <laughs> It's a beautiful black dress by Remy Classy. It's a fitted corset dress which features lace and velvet fabric at the bustier, alongside twisted strap embellished with stone sequins and beads. And for accessories, she went for a rhinestone heart shaped clutch, alongside a golden wristwatch, a bracelet, and a couple of rings. And for glam, she went for a subtle makeup and a curly hair packed in a bun. I love the entire details and class that this look embodies. It's quite simple but suits the dress code and clearly giving what it's supposed to give. I would rate this look a solid 9. They all clearly didn't come to play. Next we have famous Nigerian actress Jemima Sunde. She arrived in this strapless royal blue dress by Kome Swish. It's a beautiful dress with flower illusions created with ruffles and stones. And for accessories, she went for a pair of nude strap heels, alongside a clutch and dainty pair of earrings, alongside a stack of golden bracelets. And for a glam, she has on a soft makeup and a center part braided curly hair. It's a very classy look and goes with the dress code, but it's not my favorite look. It's a good look and I'd rate this a solid 7. Next, we have famous Nigerian host Otiwan Chokun. <laughs> So he has on a purple suit by Papa's attires. It's a maxi blazer, loose pants, and silk lilac shirt. For accessories, he went for a pair of silver earrings, a neck piece, dark shades, and black shoes. I know he said he may have been serving basic looks, but this is clearly an exception. This is not basic, but tacky. Everything seems so loose and ill-fitting. Whoever styled this look did a very poor job. I personally don't like this look. It looks oversized, and I'd rate this a solid 4. Next, we have co-host and famous content creator, Kiki. <laughs> She has on this two-piece by Eska Couture, which was created in 24 hours. It features a corset blouse embellished with beads and crystals, alongside sequins on the hem of the blouse, and a fitted pants adorned with beads, and made of a see-through fabric and linen. She styled the look with a pair of pink Versace stiletto heels, alongside a light pink purse, and stack of golden bracelets. And for glam, she has on this center part curly umber weave, packed in the half-up bun, alongside bold makeup to complement the look. I really do like this look, but I feel there's so much going on. The blouse is so detailed and I feel they should have styled this with simpler pants. The hair and makeup looks so beautiful and suits her so well. The detailing on the blouse is not very clean. You can tell that it's a little bit brushed but they did a good job regardless. The outfit kind of goes with the dress code and I love the look. It's a 7.5. Next we have Nigerian actress Leonardo and her husband. <laughs> So I believe the lady's dress is by a brand called Zainab Sapphire. It's a simple strapless peach dress adorned with crystals and beautiful details at the lower parts. For accessories, she has on sparkly spiral heels alongside chandelier earrings and a couple of rings. And for the man, he has on a black suit made of plain fabric and velvet for the lapel. He styled the look with a dainty gold neck piece, Louis Vuitton sunglasses, a luxurious wristwatch and black patent leather shoes. They both came very simple and I love both looks. I would rate them a 7. Next we have famous couple. Dear Teres. They both arrived in custom looks by Vicky James herself. Femi has on a black suit, fitted pants, and white shirt underneath. For accessories, he has on black patent leather shoes, alongside black leather wristwatch, a bow tie, a stack of bracelets, and a gold wedding band. Then we have Vicky in this fitted floor length dress that features a sheer bone corseted bodice with very intricate details. I believe the dress is hand painted, I'm not sure, but it looks like. For accessories, she went for a beautiful silver clutch, alongside a pair of black stiletto heels, dainty earrings, a couple of Rings and red acrylic nails, and for glam, she has on a glowing makeup alongside a C cut off up bun. I love this look, she clearly delivered. She's wearing literal art, and I really appreciate that. She eats as usual, and I'd rate this look a solid 10. Next, we have Nollywood actress Nancy Simem. <laughs> So it's a custom dress by Tulara who created the bridesmaid's outfit. So it's very identical to Inedima's look with slightly different styling. It's a high slit off shoulder silk dress styled with a golden wristwatch and a pair of hope earrings alongside sparkly spiral strap heels. And for glam, she went for bold makeup that made her look quite different alongside sleek center part of ponytail. I love this look, very classy and timeless and I'd rate this a 9. Next we have famous Nollywood actor Stan Jose. <laughs> 
He has on a custom look by DJ and color, which features a burgundy blazer with black lapel, with beading on the hems of the blazer, alongside black pants and a white shirt underneath. And for accessories, he has on a black tie, dark shades, black shoes, and very dainty brooch, alongside beaded bracelets and a silver wristwatch. So the blazer and the pants are made of different fabrics. The blazer is made of velvet, and the pants are made of plain fabric. The contrasting fabrics makes the look interesting. I love this look and I'd rate this a solid 8. Next we have famous fashion influencer Mercy K. She's several lady in red in this dress by the Jaded Factory. She was styled by Miss Flora Shaw and has on this red corset floor length dress embellished with red beads and stones. For accessories, she went for a gold wristwatch, a stack of one clay bracelets and dainty earrings. And for glam, she has on a glowing makeup and a center pass ponytail. It's a very simple and quite classy look. Although it's kind of leaning more on sexy and doesn't look as refined as majority of the other looks. She ate this look regardless and I'd rate this an 8 out of 10. Next we have iconic Nollywood actress Funky Aki. In the lane. It's a unique three piece set by Tia Nathan, styled by Zach Styling. So, I believe this is an interpretation of the dress code, which is black tie, which means come formal. I understand the concept, but I don't think it was well executed. I feel they should have gone for just the pants or just the skirt. Or even if they wanted both, it could have been styled in a more flattering way. So, it's a cream three piece set with a burgundy leather purse, alongside sparkly stilettos, silver neck piece, and a pair of earrings, and crown the entire look with a burgundy fascinator. I kind of have mixed feelings when it comes to this look. Because I feel it had potentials but wasn't properly executed. It's not a bad look regardless, and I'd rate this a 6. So we've come to an end of today's review. If you'd like me to do a review on the couple's look, be sure to let me know, and I'll probably do a separate video for that. Anyways, be sure to let me know in the comment section what was your best dressed and what was your least, and be sure to let me know your thoughts on the rating. If there's any you agree with, be sure to let me know, and if there's any you do not agree with, be sure to let me know as well. Everyone has their own take on fashion, and I'd love to know yours. So if you are yet to subscribe, be sure to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumb up and also turn your notifications on to get notified whenever i drop related content shout out to all my returning subscribers you all are the absolute best if you've stuck with me to this point thank you for sticking to the very end bye for now and see you all in my next video